Congressman, thank you so much for joining us on such an important conversation. I want to start, you know, a little bit big picture and your thought process as a young person in their early 20s who graduated with a degree um, and could have gone to Silicon Valley to make a lot of money, but you decided to go into public service. You decided to join the CIA instead. Why did you do that? <clears throat> Well, I, I did it because I thought it was going to be cool to recruit spies and steal secrets in exotic <laughs> places. And, um, you know, I, I was fortunate during my time at Texas A&M University to have been exposed to senior leaders of the CIA, and they told these amazing stories. And um, I thought it was going to be awesome to to serve my country in, in, in a unique way. And that's why I decided uh, to go into the CIA. And look, it, it, was, it was the best job on the planet, working on some of the most important national security challenges of the day, um, making sure that the US government is doing one of its most important um, responsibilities, and that's uh, defending the homeland, having an active role in that in places like India and Pakistan and Afghanistan and, and, and countless other places. Uh, was awesome. And I got to work with a group of people that were pretty amazing. Um, when you're trying to stop terrorists from from blowing uh, people up or weapons, nuclear proliferators from slipping a dirty bomb into the country, uh, you don't get to say, hey, we don't have enough money. We don't have enough resources. We don't have enough time. And that's not an option. Uh, and you have to go out and, and, and do your thing uh, with whatever resources you have. And so it was a great experience for me um, something that has uh, has impacted me. Um, and the only reason I left was because I can thought I thought I could help uh, the country and the intelligence community in a different way um, because I was frustrated with some of our elected officials.